we'll just ignore this one because uh, according to Excel, only the current sheet will be saved. So confirm that one and uh, confirm that also. We close our window. Now we go back on my SQL query browser. We issue a load data in file. So this would be the location of our folder on where we save our file. Make sure that you know where your product sheet uh, is located. So this may change okay, depending on where you this file uh, was installed. So you will notice here all the reserve words that is used by MySQL becomes green and we terminate it by semicolon. So we execute this statement. So you could see here that 16 rows uh, affected by the last command okay so it means that our uploading of data is successful was successful now to check okay if this is uh, true so we execute again the select asterisk from products then you have your data display. So far, what we have issued for a select statement is asterisk, which means uh, include all columns that is available from table products. What if we only select particular columns? How do we do that? So we issue again a select statement but this time instead of asterisk we use the column names so in this case we use description unit so this would be our table name and we press control e to execute so you could see here the execution the result of execution of this command Now, if you're wondering uh, if you want to arrange the description in alphabetical order, so how do you do it? Okay, so uh, we issue a uh, order by uh, ascending clause. We issue, we can copy this uh, portion. We just control C. Then we paste, control V. And we edit this one. Okay, so we use the order clause. So we use the uh, field name description. And then we execute. Suppose that we want to set a criteria or a condition wherein only a specific uh, rows will be displayed so in this case i want to see all those items all those descriptions with a unit of uh, each or ea so how do i do it so i'll just edit this out from the last statement that we have uh, done so I will use where the condition which is unit equal with a string EA and I'm going to terminate by terminate it by semicolon we apply control E there you have it. Now, 
applying that we have uh, learned from above from, uh, in order to display our records in ascending order we issue the word order by uh, description okay so the default here is uh, uh, ascending so even though you will not issue the ASC command it will automatically arrange the rows in ascending order so we execute control E so you could see here our data or rows are already arranged in alphabetical order you may also clear this out okay if you want to have a clear or uh, clear query area you can clear that out okay so if you want to uh, execute previous statements you can uh, go object browser uh, window or area you click history so you could see here all the successful uh, statements that you have executed since you uh, started this uh, query now let us say uh, I click this one double click it okay so this is the uh, previous statement that I have issued uh, successfully and uh, we're going to uh, display okay all rows that were created between November 19 2009 and up to November 23 but how do I do that so if we want to edit this out we placed here date created okay the same table so this is where I'm going to issue my uh, condition they created between so this would be our starting value we close it by uh, rotation mark and the uh, another end clause which ends the ending value okay we clear this out we terminate our statement with the semicolon okay and we execute So you could see here that all display were between that date. What if I'm going, I want this uh, result be arranged according to date created in discerning order. So how do I do that? So I'll just go back on my command and issue the order by date created descending order then execute control E so you could see here that it's already 